Okay, testing. Well, I might be a little loud even, huh? I guess it's not entirely bad though. Don't eat the litter. All right, okay. Um, I still have to get the mailbag uh, box so I can open this stuff. And I guess we're gonna do that first, but let me check with DJ. I might have to delay mailbag just a little bit longer depending on uh, this little one here has been having some trouble pooping and uh, I can feel her colon's pretty full, but it's not, it's not like solid. It's not like, you know, she's constipated. She just can't get it out for some reason. Um, uh, so uh, obviously the, the thing, the only move that we have right now is to give her another enema and uh, I've already, you know, told DJ that's what we need to do. So it's just a question of whether DJ wants to do it now or wait until after mailbag. Uh, since I have to go up there anyway to grab the tools, um, the uh, mailbag tools, I will be right back. Okay, we're actually, because she, she seems a little miserable, we're actually going to do that first, and then I'll come down and open mailbag with you guys. Uh, and DJ's going to keep her up there then uh, for a few minutes. So it doesn't take very long. Um, I'll be back in probably under five minutes. So um, just bear with me. You know what? Never mind. She must have. Mom must have helped her get it out. Let me double check her. I don't feel anything now. No, she. Mom must have done it. Okay. Yeah, barely anything in there now, and you don't seem too upset about it either, do you? Okay. Well, I guess between her and mom, they worked it out. I'll tell DJ. I'll be right back.
Okay, sorry about all that. Uh, that was fun, wasn't it? I guess uh, we're just about ready for mailbag here. I'm still a little dehydrated, so I got my Gatorade. Hopefully that'll help. Okay, let's check these cameras. Let's check everything. Make sure we got whatever we need here. And then we can get rolling. So let me just see here. Oh boy, I see somebody, uh, Karen says, maybe Crank needs a colonoscopy. Col colonos How do you say that? Anyway, um, maybe she does, but she's going to have to get a lot bigger. They do not make them anywhere near that small. Uh, but uh, yeah, who knows? Okay, uh, let's see. Sound check, mic check, um, cam check, check check, rice check, corn check. Let's see here. All right, well, it's some kind of thing. Let's see. I wonder, um, both these cameras can zoom in. I wonder which one zooms in the more. Let's just see here. Oh, that's, that's very zoomed. Okay, I guess it's gonna be that one. Hi, are you gonna hang out with me? Maybe, are we gonna watch the kid? Over here? Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, that's enough fun for now. Uh, that camera's probably not even on there, is it? Here, we can just put it all on for now. Or whatever. Okay, uh, so uh, mailbag time. Uh, news this week. Well, obviously the big news is these kids moved downstairs and the other big news, of course, is that Crank is still having some issues with her pooping that we need to sort of figure out. But other than that, I think everything's going really well. And uh, oh, we still need an adopter for Cash. Um, I know people feel like they haven't seen too much of him lately and that's probably why um, I need to start sort of pushing that. Um, on that note, somewhat related, I've still been working out the technical issues. As you can tell, the mic thing this morning was a big mess, um, but we're working on it and we'll have those things ironed out in due time. Uh, just be patient, I hope. Um, I do want to say I'm very excited about the progress we've made on the tech and uh, I've got some code that actually needs to go up today that will bring back the micro close-ups. So I got that all tested and it seems like it's really working. It's a lot more uh, robust than it used to be. So that's super exciting, but I didn't get time to put it up before mailbag today like I wanted to. So we'll do it later this afternoon. And I guess uh, I can't think of anything else that's really news there. Um, I did, I think last week I talked about how we were going to start or how I was working on getting people able to sort of, you know, pick the cameras that go on the stream. And I did show everybody how I think that's going to work. And uh, I was very happy about it. Uh, one of our tests, everybody picked the exact cameras that I would have picked if I was the one controlling them. So, yeah, it worked out. It was a good job. It was a nice test anyway. Um, but that's stuff that, we, you know, it's going to take a little while to get there completely. Um, so, still working on that as well. Um, just a lot of tech stuff for me. I'll tell you, uh, I know it's been eating up a lot of my time. I've been uh, burning the midnight oil at both ends. But... Uh, it's fun for me. I really, really enjoy it. So, um, you know, overall, I think it's, it's good anyway. It's good for me. And uh, it makes me feel like maybe I can still think a little, which is, which is nice to have that sort of reassurance once in a while. Uh, all right. Where are we then? Uh, I'm just going to check again, make sure chat's uh, along with me here to some degree anyway. Okay. Good. I think nobody's, oh, okay, good. Yeah, I think people can hear me. All right, we're all, we're all good here. Um, I am gonna take a drink of my Gatorade though. Hmm. Uh, okay. We do have a, at least two letters here, well, at least one letter. The other one, I'm not sure is actually a letter for us, but let's find out. We'll start with the mystery one. It is from Chewy. The uh, cat food company. It's funny. I was just thinking about the cat food company. No, they're not that at all. They're pet pet comp. Uh, you know, you know, Chewy. Come on. 
Uh, I was just thinking when I got her litter box that we've always, for the kitten litter boxes, the little ones, um, if you order canned food from Chewy, sometimes, used to be all the time, now it's just kind of sometimes, they'll put these cardboard lids over the canned food so that it stays nice and shipping. And those things are the perfect kitten litter boxes. They're exactly the right size. And uh, we, they're plentiful because, you know, we order a ton of cat food. Um, but lately, I've been getting all of our food from Amazon. And I can see I'm going to have to put in another order through Chewy because uh, I'm down to like just a couple of those things that I've saved at this point. So, uh, all right. Welcome to Chewy. Uh, is this even for us? It's not even for us. Aw. Okay, but that's fine. I think somebody sent us something from Chewy and then Chewy's sending them a thanks for, for using Chewy message. So um, if you are, here, I'll just, let's, do I know? No, I don't know because I covered it up. If you are, oh no, I still don't know <laughs> because now my tape tore it up. Okay, if you're somebody who ordered from Chewy, Chewy says thanks. There you go. All right, next time. <laughs> I'm doing what I can. Uh, let's see here. Wow, that brain is still a hit, huh? That brain stem's looking kind of dirty, though. Hmm. Oh, this is too ridiculous. This is a picture of someone holding buck teeth in front of their cat, as you can see. And it says... Oh, uh, let's see. It says... Okay, to read on air, thank you, Dr. Mis Wait, Dr. Mr. A and Dr. DJ. All right, I got promoted. Thank you so much for all you do for our feline friends. Your care and love for the kittens and their mothers is greatly appreciated by all of us who love cats. A short story. All right. Um, in 1983, a good year, I was just thinking about that. Isn't Was it 80? I guess it was 84 when... Everything was in the theater, like uh, Blade Runner and E.T. And was that all in 84? Three? It's right around there. Uh, okay. Uh, I moved into the first home of my own. However, several weeks later, I arrived at my mother's house to see her, pointing into a nearby hedge and a man from the local animal shelter trying to catch a small, dirty calico kitten. After a brief discussion, it was decided I would take the kitten home with me, and I named her Custard. Uh, she was a wonderful member of the family for 16 years. You can imagine my delight when I realized you also had a silly cat named Custard. His videos make me smile and bring back memories of my own cat. Once again, thank you for all that you do. Love, Victoria. Victoria, thank you. That is a very cute story. I love that you also have a Custard, a girl Custard. Um, that's, uh, that's wonderful. Had, uh, and, uh, that's, that's wonderful. Um, calicos are a lot of fun. This one is crazy. And, uh, I think it's great that you managed to rescue a kitty or help, I guess, rescue a kitty. Fantastic. She's so much fun. This, this one is so squeezable. I've never had a cat that I can hug this. Well, I don't, maybe a couple of the moms that we've had here. I don't know, but it's been a while where you can just, you can hug her and you can really, Give her a, a big, firm hug, and she doesn't mind like most cats would. She likes it. She does get kind of farty, though. We've still got to work on her GI issues, too. I haven't found any food yet that doesn't give her bad poops and farts, but we're working on it. I actually had her on the prescription GI diet for a while, uh, for like a week or two, and uh, it did get a little better, but not enough better. So, anyway, let's keep rolling. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. I think I know what this is. Oh, I think this is for you. I think this is for you, Gadget. One for Gadget now in whatever room she's moved to. One for Gadget and one for Cranks for Endowments from Kidden Kitten. What a cute name. I don't think I've, I don't, I don't think I've seen you on Discord. Kidden, K-I-D-D-E-N. Kidden Kitten. I like that. That's good. Uh, good. She does need one now. You know, I've, I've, she's the one in the bedroom. She loves. I think you've seen that. Uh, she's just crazy about it. But I haven't given it to her in her room uh, because when I did that with the turkey leg, she just ignored it for a long time. But I can see she's playing with the turkey leg now. All right. Well, the one upstairs is blue. I wonder which one we should give her here. 
I guess DJ would want her to have the gray one because DJ's trying to stay sort of blue and gray in here. So that's what we'll do. Let's see if she goes right for it. I bet she will. She's just... What's this? A brand new one just for you? A brand new one just for you? Oh, what are you going to do? Okay, you take that. All right, you show that thing who's boss. Uh, kitten, kitten, thank you so much. That's fantastic. That is to exa <laughs> exactly the right thing for her. And I should write their names on this so I don't forget. Although, I imagine when I go through endowments, anything I have two of, I'm going to know, goes to these two. I'm still going to write it on there. Crank. Gadget. You like that? Yeah, you do. Perfect, perfect gift for her. Okay. Well, moving right along. This is very colorful. Let's see. Can I get it open without a knife? No, I think I, I think I need my knife. Hmm. Oh, uh, I think I know what this is. I might even know who it's from. Let's see here. I see some flowers. They look like beautiful poppies and daisies. Daisies? Yeah, I think that's right. Poppies and daisies. And, aw, to Hazelnut for her endowment, your very own banana phone for when you get a duded love GA girl. Oh, wow, and it's in a nice pouch, too. That's beautiful. Look at that. It's basically like a banana purse. Uh, it's like her little phone holder, banana phone holder. That's great. Oh, thank you, GA girl. She's going to love that. Of course she is. She loved, loved the one that she had upstairs, didn't she? I I feel like she had one upstairs that she, she had gotten into quite a bit. I didn't bring it down here. I haven't moved everything down yet. I just grabbed a handful of stuff to bring for her uh, this morning because I was in a hurry. But we'll get some more stuff down here for her in due time. I want to get Crank in my lap. And uh, I need to, to take a... Uh, well, I guess we'll remember that this is hers. I don't, Obviously, I can't write on it. Um, but you know what? I could write on the banana cover and see that through your wonderful little purse. I think that would work. Yeah, there we go. We'll just write on this. Aha. That's using my noodle. You know, um, hang on here, gadget. People say noodle. I guess technically lasagna is a noodle, but it's not really like spaghetti. It's more like lasagna. It's uh, those are wrinkles. Okay, <laughs> that was your educational moment. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Okay, moving right along. GA girl, thank you so much. I miss seeing you on Discord. Uh, That's all I'll say about that. Okay. Whoa, what have we got in here? Some notes. Sent to K.A. in the name of Daniel T. My Christmas in July draw. He lives in Australia. His cat toy was not available, so I chose one of K.A.'s favorites for him and K.A. to do as you see fit from Patty. Oh, P.I.F. Patty. Good to hear from you. Uh, so that's uh, Daniel T. Thank you. Um, and Piff, uh, thank you for... Let's see. I think I recognize what this is. Ooh, it's a pack of three. Cat Dancer Originals. This is the wire with the little bits of cardboard on it. A wonderful toy. Uh, cats love these. That is just a really, really good one all around, all the time. And something else. Oh! Oh, this is a good one too. What is this? Packaging Reduction Program. Okay. These are also very good. Uh, some cats just go nuts for these. These are the same uh, company that makes that. Um, and they are just the same kind of little cardboard rolled into different shapes with a tiny bit of, uh, I don't know, um, polar fleece on them, I guess. 
That's what I would call that, little polar fleece rainbows. They're really cute. And yes, most of the kittens go absolutely nuts for these things. I think she's a little small for it and she might just prefer kickers all the time. She's not gonna quit with that thing. Uh, but I'm gonna leave one in here anyway. Let's give her a round one to have fun with. And then the rest of them I'll put away for the moment. And uh, we'll parcel those out. I think, um, if I can remember, I think that little um, Cash might really enjoy one. I know he does love those as a toy. So that might be something I can give him one of today. When I see him, he's a busy little guy. He's got lots of sleeping to do. <laughs> Keeps you real busy. Come here, you. Come on, I know you're having fun in there. Come sit with me. Okay, come on. Come on, we can do this. You can sit right here. Oh, there you go, just sit with me. So, I think a lot of you probably recognize this white box with the stickers on it. It is definitely a style that we've seen plenty of times before. This has got to be from the B&B &B sisters. Let's take a look. I'm always excited to see what toys and blankets they might have sent. Ooh, and a note. The best part. Oh, that's some cool colors there. Wow, what is that? All right, we'll see. We've got a beautiful oil painting of a mother cat who looks just like you. How do you guys find these things with her little kittens playing on a chair? You can see that. I think this mom cat might be a little bit rounder than she is, but uh, at least in the face. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Love the new mom cat, Hazelnut. Can't wait for her to have her kitties. Oh, wow, this must have taken a while to get here. That may have happened by the time this box gets there. Uh, yeah, that happened. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking Hazelnut. Yeah, no, okay, my mistake. Hazelnut, the other new mom cat. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, can't wait either to see what names Dr. DJ comes up with for these kitties. Yeah, me too. Enclosed are the usual blankets, toys, and food to be used as you see fit. Thank you for all you do, the B&B &B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Hazelnut, I think she's, I, I really thought she was going to go this morning, um, first thing. You know, I think statistically most of our mom cats deliver in the morning. And yesterday, Hazelnut was asked, acting very differently than her normal, I say, it, well, it seemed very different to me than her normal, uh, especially the, the biggest sign that I saw yesterday was that she was letting me pet her belly. And normally if I pet her belly, um, she's, she's had a slow progression from like when I would pet her belly at first, she would just immediately like start kicking me and biting me and try to run away. Um, and then more recently, she lets me do it for like a half a second and then she will sort of bite me like that. Ah. And she's a, she's a tough biter, like she's doing it, you can tell it's a love bite or like a just, you know, sort of stop doing that bite. But uh, she's very hard, like she does it, she does it too hard. I've, I've had to correct her on that and I think she's learning. Anyway, yesterday it was a whole different story. She let me just pet her belly as much as I wanted and that is something that mom cats, I think, I think nature sets them up that way to enjoy having their bellies touched more when they're about to have babies because of course their babies are going to be all over there. So uh, that's something I've noticed for mom cats in general is that they, they, don't, they love having their bellies padded actually. They love belly rubs and it's not a trap. So the fact that she's gone that direction all of a sudden yesterday to, like, to the extreme made me think that for sure she was going to deliver soon, uh, real soon. Maybe she still is. Uh, she's also eaten a little bit less yesterday. Uh, so, uh, you know, who knows? Uh, I thought it was going to be real soon. Could be. We'll see. Anyway, all right, uh, blanket number one. This has got some really cool art on it. Is this like a Japanese? Oh, no, I guess it's not. It's more like a, it's more like a stained glass, which I also love. Oh, that really is pretty. It does remind me of stained glass with the little, the gray, but I just, it's so, that's a very cool pattern. I like that a lot. I'm a big fan of stained glass, actually. I think it's wonderful. I would love uh, when we find another house to, um, you know, get some like classic stained glass windows in there or stained glass just to hang like some people do. That's fun. Okay, kiddo. Uh, next up. A beautiful little blue eyed kitten, very fuzzy kitten looking at some butterflies. That's lovely. 
Sort of got some watercolor to it. There we go. And another. Oh, look at that. That is one big kitty. Oh yeah, those are some beautiful eyes. They've really caught that. And uh, the same sort of, uh, <laughs> sort of like drippy watercolor around the borders. I like it. Okay, where are we here? I'm trying to fold this relatively evenly so I can stack them up all nice. There we go. I guess mom finally wore out that kicker for the minute. And this one looks like it's got a sort of a starry night on it. Oh yeah, it's like the nighttime version. Oh, uh, sideways. So I'm seeing little stars. I don't know if what you make of those. Um, the little white dots look like stars to me. And uh, beautiful eyes with uh, very uh, detailed irises there. Some brush swirls in the kitty. Beautiful stuff. Okay, I know you're having fun. You want to play with blankets, huh? Yeah, you'll wrestle anything. You know, when Ari was smaller, uh, I haven't seen him do this in a while. Um, he used to love that, like a blanket was his favorite toy to wrestle like this. Or um, the, the sash on my robe was another thing that he loved to sort of wrestle with. Just anything that was fabric. That was, that was his deal when he was tiny. Um, I haven't seen him get into it so much anymore, although he did attack my robe. There was a moment just like, it was a couple months ago now, but it really stood out because it had been such a long time since I saw him do it. And then he went after it just like he used to when he was a kitten. It's very cute. Okay, now we're into the toys portion and there's, oh man, a whole bunch of more unique stuff in here. I love it. This one is kitten candy. It's a kitten candy cone. That's adorable. You know, DJ loves cotton candy. Um, that's great. And uh, this looks like Alf. Uh, it, we're gonna, it, I think it is Alf. No, it's a lion. It's a lion with a weird nose. That's gotta be it, because he's got too much of a mane. I don't know, let's take a look. I gotta see him up close now. It looks like a lion with Alf's nose. I think Alf would be a really odd choice for a cat present. Ah, it does kind of look like him, but I think it is a lion, yes. It's, you know what, it's because it's corduroy. The corduroy lion, you see that, right? You can see what I was seeing. It's because he's corduroy that he looks like he could have been Alf, but he's clearly, a, oh, hi, a lion. Oh, hi, do you want to play with every single toy that we're going to pull out for mailbag? Okay, well, I guess you can have that one then. That's cute, you know, it looks just like you're tiny. Maybe you've got another tiny to wrestle with there. All right, I guess she picked that one for herself. We've got a seahorse on a string. All right, very cool. Uh, no, 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 you can't have every, you can't have literally every toy, okay? Uh, the ice cream triple scoop. She wants literally every toy. Okay, what can we get you to play with here? Go get that. Oh, no, no, I mean, go get it. Look, it's right over there. Okay. A carrot with an eyeball? I mean, it does. It's got to be a carrot, but that eye, maybe it's a fish. It looks like maybe it's a fish. There we go. That's what it is. Uh, speaking of fish, we got a couple beta fish here. Very pretty feathers on those. I hear kiddo um, digging in the litter box. I really want to see if she's doing something. Did you do something? She's good at peeing in there. I think that's what she did. Yeah. Let me just check. Yeah, that's what she did. She peed in there. That's very good. Okay. She's been very consistent about that, I've noticed. Here we've got three big mice. Oh, she's gonna zoom now. Uh, we've got a telephone, hello. Banana phone? No, move over, we got an old rotary phone here. I like it. Uh, we've got a fox and a hedgehog, a purple fox and a navy blue hedgehog. Very cute. We've got ramen and shrimp. It is a Nyam, I'm sorry, it's Nyman. Uh, noodle soup, shrimp flavor, with a shrimp, of course. Uh, now, I'm, if I'm going to shake these toys, you can't just go after every single one, though. Uh, here is a, a loaf of bread. It says, all you need is loaf. Uh-huh, that's sort of a pun. Um, need spelled with a K, of course. That's heavy. That is a very heavy cat toy. Wow, loaf kicker. Okay, uh, here we have, um, what are those fish that have the, the little glowy light on an angler fish, right? Is that it? 
So we got one of those and, um, and a turtle. There we go, an angler fish with a little bell on the end instead of a light. Hi, okay. And a sea turtle. Uh, an adorable little birdie with a heart-shaped wing. Hi, you wanna play with everything, I know. All right, we got a feather ball, we got another feather ball. I think there was a third one that I threw over there. We got some mylar balls. These are fancy mylar balls with mesh in them as well as mylar, mylar mesh balls. All right, we got a bag of the tiny, wait, this is not just a mouse. There's, okay, this is, this is in the same set as that lion. I can't tell what animal this is. Oh, it's a horse. Oh, it's a cute little black horse with little brown feet and a little brown mane and some little eyeballs. Oh man, I know you can't really see. I don't want to open another one right now because she's just going to steal it, but that's very cute. Uh, we've got this fuzzy owl. Wow, very fuzzy with these eyelashes that just stick way out. I know, mine get, uh, my eyebrows get like that if I don't trim them. Uh, <laughs> We have a flying squirrel. Oh man, he's fun. My mom used to have a flying squirrel around her house in Illinois. It's the coolest thing. Um, let's see here. Uh, we got two ice cream cones that are also bears for some reason and a donut that is also a bear for some reason. It's a strange combination. Uh, we've got a recycled plastic um, uh, starfish. Wow, there's a lot in here. You guys send so much. These are, these are great toys to fill out the endowments and for these kids to play with. I always, the toys are always so cute and original. I want to put them all out for the kittens, but I also feel like that's too much and that they should save some for their endowments. So these are a set of animals. We have an owl, an octopus, and a bear mouse thing. Um, but the thing that sets these out as being unique is they each have a little spring on the bottom with a bell on it. And they're all attached to the board, so I can't really pull it out. But if you look, you can probably see, there you go, it's just like on the owl, a little springy bottom with a, with a bell. That's going to be a lot of fun. We have some more Mylar balls in various colors. We have a salsa kit. Oh, yeah, she's going to be all about that door. Um, all right, I guess uh, Mexican Taco Tuesday, it says. There we go. So there is a taco. There's a bowl of guacamole, which is one I haven't seen before, and uh, some hot sauce. I love the guacamole. DJ's a big fan of uh, guac, and that's, that's so cute. With the, the, like he's got this fuzzy uh, guacamole head. Uh, it's just really cute, and he's got a big feather coming out the side for some reason. Uh, that's adorable. Okay, here we have a potted catnip and a catnip uh, seed bag. Feline flower seeds catnip, and they both have little smiley faces on them. I love this though. It's got like the fuzzy hair with the, the catnip starting to grow out of it. That's, that's so cute. Uh, we've got a couple clownfish here. We got a couple alpacas, alpaca pals. I guess that's why there's two of them. Catnip and crinkle. Okay, perfect for tinies. We have cheese and wine. It's like a blue cheese, yes. And uh, meow champers. Whoa, and it's, it's not, yeah, it is clearly champagne because it's bursting at the top. You can see the champagne spraying out of the top. Very cool. The blue cheese is, I don't think I've ever seen a blue cheese cat toy or any kind of blue cheese toy. I like it. Okie dokie. Cocktail sauce and shrimp. They go together like cocktail sauce and shrimp. Hi, now you're in all the toys. What are you gonna take out of there? Uh, we got a bag of fruit. We've got um, a dragon fruit, a strawberry, and a very happy smiling banana. I think that's a dragon fruit, isn't it? There we go. That's what I'm going to go with. Okie dokie. Here we have a little tiny blue fish with a feather tail. So much more. Oh, this is cool. This appears to be a... Well, it's a ball in a, in a sort of an abstract pineapple. I mean, that's a bell in sort of an abstract pineapple. You can hear it in there. I really like it. It's beautiful, this purple color, and it's got the texture being 3D printed. Uh, yeah, in fact, it is. That's definitely 3D printed. Hmm. With the bell in it, that's kind of a neat trick, although I know how that one's done. You just print it part way, drop the bell in, and then print it the rest. Um, but that is some quality printing too. It's got some great texture and the, the color, this is like an iridescent purple 
uh, plastic, which I don't think I've seen before. It's very pretty. I like this. I think that's going to go with me. Uh, you know, for kittens, obviously. You know, for kids. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see here. This is a little tiny squirrel. It is so cute and round with little tiny ears and a little tiny nose and little tiny eyes and a little tiny squirrel tail. This is adorable, but it's also got the electronic sound in it if I pull the tab out. So probably really noisy all the time, but it's so tiny and cute. Here we have a dragon. A uh, very fanciful dragon with like two golden horns and a bunch of feathers and some big pink dragon wings. He is very cute. All right, there we go. I know I'm not really showing him off because he's stuck behind that label. Oh, look at that. It's open. I can just pull him out. <laughs> That's very cool. Oh, I had his wings in the back there. There we go. Okay, I'll hold him by his horn. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I know that can't be too comfortable. Wow, look at this pile. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of stuff. We're not even done yet. We have another kind of clownfish here. We have uh, another fish. This one's got a button for an eye. That's very cute. All right. We have a octopus starfish. Star octopus. Octa octa star. I don't know. Uh, it could be either one. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, this is another little tiny squeaky toy, the kind of electronic kind. This one's a bunny rabbit. Otherwise, it is a pretty good match for that squirrel. He's got longer bunny ears, really fuzzy fur. Oh, my goodness. He's so nice. He's nice to touch. And cute little bunny eyes. There we go. Cute little bunny tail. Uh, we've got a flat mouse, classic skinny mouse. Excuse me, they call it a skinny mouse. It's a flat mouse. We got a red crab, a whale. Oh, very cool. No, shark. Uh, shark, yeah, definitely shark. Okay, that's a shark. Oh, man. All right, I was very excited about that 3D printed pineapple, but there's more. Uh, we'll get to that next. This one is a beautiful peacock. And I especially love the little uh, feathers on top here. Look at that. That's some cool detail, but a lovely, beautiful peacock. And then up here, we, okay, uh, we have two more 3D printed little pineapple jingly things. This one in a beautiful iridescent gold, and this one in a rainbow color. Wow, and it's such a, a blend. The color blends so nicely that they, that must be the filament that comes that way. But that's a perfect like length. It's just, uh, that's incredible. That's, that's the best one, of course. That's the one for me to keep. And then the yellow and purple, the gold and purple, go really well together. It looks like, I don't know, Saints Row uh, pineapples there, maybe. Uh, so cool. Hmm. I really like that iridescent uh, uh, filament is so cool. And the, uh, the color there, the rainbow one, that's just, it's beautiful all around. Those are really neat. I, I'm curious about how you found those. Okay, two more things in here, of course. Uh, one is a box of little rattle mice. Wait, rattle? Yes, rattle mice. And then, of course, the usual tray of Nulo, uh, the little smaller cans, which are occasionally very useful and otherwise are really great for giving some people some transitional uh, Nulo. That's exactly what we feed everybody here, except her right now, because that definitely gives her the bad poops. Um, yeah, all right, B&B uh, &B Sisters, that's fantastic. Once again, you've done an amazing, generous job. It's, uh, it's lovely what you send to us. It's always, always interesting. Always some stuff in there I've never seen before. Uh, there's plenty of it this time. There we go. So I'm gonna put that all right back in here to go downstairs for now. Except you, buddy. You can stay out since you got chosen first. Okay. Uh, and this stuff I think I can maybe just put on there so it goes downstairs pretty easily too. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, that leaves us one box left. How are we doing for time? Perfect, we're right on schedule. That's fantastic. Oh, I got to put two of these back, I guess. Oh, I don't want to, though. They're so cool. 
Okay, I mean, what am I gonna do with them though? I'm just gonna put this one in the bedroom where I get to hear it played with once in a while, I think. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, put it in my pocket for now. Okay, right here. Ah. These have to go downstairs too, so I'll just tuck them in there. So, let's see here. This is a giant package from somebody that apparently buys cat litter boxes. I was chatting with DJ before Mailbag about how calling it a, a sifting cat pan makes it sound like you could go panning for kittens, like, you know, in the gold rush. Kitten prospector out there staking their claim. I don't think that's what's in here though because it's been very carefully scratched off. So, wow, this is packed full of stuff as well. And the note right here on top. Oh, this looks good. I can already see something in there. Um, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, kittens, mom, cats, faculty, and KA community. What did the teacher say after it caught the kitten cheating? Don't be a copycat. Okay, now that we got that out of the way and closed in the box, you will find an assortment of things to do with as you see fit. Kitten Academy has had so many adoptions recently. Yeah, I'm sure your stock is a bit depleted. So there are cat treats, one box of human treats. That's what I saw first. The human treats are Stroop Waffle right here on top. Oh, so good. Maple Stroop Waffle. Oh, they're normally uh, sort of a caramel. I wonder if that's gonna taste any different. That's something the DJ might like too. I think she might be kind of over like her maple obsession, but she still likes it, of course. Um, let's see, cat treats, one box of human treats, cat toys, a very cute lounging scratching sofa, and several cardboard structures for kittens to play in. Obviously this one likes cardboard because she spent, spent all of her time, uh, well, almost all of her time in there and on the, uh, the infinity scratcher, which is where she is now. Um, let's see here. One of the cardboard buildings is a schoolhouse. All right, let's take a look. Um, do we know which one is? This one, Cat Manners School. Oh, Etiquette. It says Etiquette School. Uh-huh. Anything is possible at the Etiquette School. I like it. Cat Manners School for medium cats. Cat Manners School is great. Why didn't we name our Kitten Academy Cat Manners School? <laughs> That's, that is perfect. Uh, very appropriate for such a prestigious institution as the Kitten Academy. In fact, there are two of them to deploy, so several of the faculty can be teaching classes at once. That's adorable. Also, for kitten enjoyment, an ice cream truck. <gasps> Keep life sweet. Ice cream truck. Oh, this one's for extra large cats. I like that they tell you what size uh, it's good for. So this one is an ice cream truck. It's got the license plate Cool Cat. And it's even got the flavors listed on the side. Salmon souffle, pumpkin crunch, banana swirl. Oh, wow. Uh, that is really cute. There's a couple other flavors there too, but the cat's in front of them, so I can't read them. We'll have to see them when we get this out. That is also super cool. Purr and Seek brand. Um, what better way to end summer than grabbing a tasty cold treat? The variety of other toys and treats can be deployed as needed at the academy or as endowments. All right. Um, still waiting on Hazelnut, who's making sure her kittens come out of the oven well done. Although by the time you receive this box, she will likely have delivered. Can't wait to meet them. I can't wait either, but uh, no, not yet. We are, she is keeping us waiting. I'm glad things have calmed down a bit at KA after all the wonderful adoptions, although Gadget and Crank each need their own special variety of care. Gadget is such a crazy nut and Crank simply adorable. Head pets and scritches to all the mom cats, kittens, and faculty at KA. All right, one more. What do Christmas and desert cats have in common? Sandy Claws. All right, thank you, Minnesota KA fan. Thank you very much. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, Minnesota KA fan has also sent Churu chicken and chicken with scallop. Uh, a very cute breakfast set. It is a toast, egg, and bacon. Oh man, that makes me want second breakfast. Here we have another, this is Cat Dancer. This is the same company that makes those little cardboard uh, wire things and these things. And normally their cat toy has this kind of polar fleece on it, but look at that, it's a different pattern. 
So that's new to me. I haven't seen that they make different patterns. Uh, branching out a little bit. Look at that. That's very like tie-dyed version of the cat dancer toy. Oh yeah, you like that, don't you? Okay, okay. <laughs> Always a good toy to have. I have not seen one yet that's not just the classic rainbow, so uh, very cool. All right, I'm gonna roll this back up for now because we've got plenty of the classic rainbow ones around and I don't think she cares whether it's this one or the one of those or anything else. Okay, all right. Okay, you got your claw stuck. There we go, one at a time. Um, <laughs> just set that up. Okay, I know. All right, there's some more in here. There's also this really cool, oh, it's a sofa. Of course it is, a cat sofa, that's great. I was just looking at the one left over in the living room that's been very scratched up, but thinking maybe I should bring it in here, although it doesn't quite fit the theme. Um, this one would go with the theme since it's all gray and white. I think DJ might allow it, even though it's not spacey. I don't know if we really have to be doing space in here. Uh, we'll see what she thinks. And then we have another Churu. We got these classic skitter critter mice, the kind that uh, little Logie loves to play fetch with. We got Tuna Churu. You're just gonna play with every single thing, aren't you, kiddo? Uh, <laughs> there we go, we can consolidate most of this, I think. Oh, I'm gonna have to use your box anyway, though. Okay, more Churu, chicken recipe. Tiki Cat version of sticks, the wet treats. Those are like Churu, but by Tiki Cat, which we learned last week is the, uh, the fancy version for uh, fancy cats. Uh, churu tuna recipe, okay. And a Fancy Feast Savory, also like Churu. That's a little chunkier than Churu, though. It's got little chunks of stuff in it. With salmon and tuna in a demi glace. Oh, I see. Okay. And then uh, we've got the Cat Cafe. It is a coffee and donut. Very cool. That is a wonderful box full of wonderful things. Thank you so much, Minnesota KA fan. That is incredibly generous and incredibly thoughtful of you. And I'm very excited to see one of these cat manners schools uh, deployed for the kitties to play in. So we will get there uh, at some point. I've got an awful lot to take care of. Little Teaspoon is at the door and Gadget doesn't seem too bothered by him. Of course she would be if he came in. They would not have fun together. What are you looking at, buddy? Oh, really? You talking to me? Brrr. Well, I guess I should take all this stuff down to the endowment zone. All the stuff that hasn't been selected anyway. Uh, I see. This is why the box is a little bit distorted, because this thing doesn't quite fit. It's so close. Okay. There we go. Put these in. Perfect. That is a nice fit. And then I guess we can just put these on top. Uh, there we go. What are you looking at? You want to play with everything. It's not all for you, not yet anyway. You've got to wait. You can't just play with everything once and then it's too much. It's too much. It's like uh, when there's a Steam sale and I buy like a whole bunch of games at the same time and then uh, I spend probably 75% of my time just looking at my list of games, trying to pick one that I want to play instead of actually playing a game. It's much better when you just have one to deal with at a time and then you don't waste all that time trying to decide what to do, I think. Uh, it's a very common problem for me. DJ has the exact same problem, but with the TV. Uh, she has in the past anyway, frequently spent most of her time trying to pick something to watch instead of watching something. I would joke that the menu, uh, the menu of shows was her favorite show. I'd come in and she'd be looking, I'd be like, oh, you got your favorite show on. <laughs> So, same thing. All right. Well, I'm going to turn off this mic. I'm going to take this stuff downstairs. Uh, I think we do have a working mic in here now, so you'll be able to hear these kids, and that's good. All right, then. Uh, I saw the question about, I wonder if Mr. A is still going to set up a town with a bakery, coffee shop, ice cream shop, burger place, etc. Yeah, um, actually, I mentioned that idea to DJ, and she really liked it, and we do have most of that stuff set aside downstairs still, so I guess we could do that. Uh, that would be really fun if we had a big class. I don't know about doing it for one kitten, especially one kitten that's 
still kind of overwhelmed by just the regular stuff in her room. Maybe when she gets a little bigger, we'll see. Okay, uh, all right, now time. Okay, I think you can hear me now on the regular mic. Regular mic! Everybody's regular friend. Okay. It's your waffle. I know where to put you. Oh yeah, in my belly. Thank you. 